Hey there, today I'm going to show you an easy way where you can boost the performance of pretty much any mini PC out there or laptop in practically any game out there. And this is how you do it for free. Now we're going to be taking a look at this on the Trinky Speed S5 mini PC and this is rocking a Ryzen 5 5500U. This 6 core 12 thread CPU paired with a Radeon 8 graphics isn't exactly the most powerful thing in the market today. In fact, by 2024 standards, this is relatively low end. So let's see how we can actually boost the performance of this system in gaming. The key to all of this is essentially this program called Magpie. Now what Magpie does is it lets you inject FSR and pretty much a wide variety of different upscaling tools onto any game. So even games that don't support FSR will actually let you use FSR with this program. All you really have to do is just download the zip file and extract it and launch the EXE. But let's actually take a look at how it functions in practice. Now here we have Killing Floor 2 running on the system at the ultra graphic settings at 1080p. And as you can see, the FPS average that we're getting and the 1% lows don't exactly look great. Pretty much getting a 30 fps gaming experience here and while you can lower down the graphics settings to get a boost in performance we can also just use fsr here and we'll essentially be able to continue to use the ultra graphics preset while also getting a pretty decent fps by going into the game settings and setting it to 720p and windowed mode we are now ready to use magpie now let me walk you through the ui of magpie you really aren't gonna have to mess with much but once you get to the home screen here it really just gives you the shortcuts you want to go down here to the scaling configuration you can adjust things here if you know what you're doing but really all of the default settings are going to be perfectly fine for the vast majority of people but it does give you a wide variety of customization for pretty much any kind of upscaling that you want to try to do what you're really going to want to do is here down in the defaults the scaling mode that you want is FSR. For practically any scenario you're going to need FSR, I have it set to the capture mode being graphics capture. Again, this is all what it was set to by default. The only other thing that I did that wasn't enabled by default was enable the 3D game mode. Since most of the time you're going to be playing a 3D game unless you're someone that is mostly trying to play 2D games and upscale those. But since we are doing mostly 3D games, it's just going to be with that enabled. You have these other options down here where you can enable a FPS counter. You can enable VSync to be on automatically. This can be useful if you're on an extremely low end system and you're just barely trying to reach that 60 FPS average or 30 FPS average. And VSync will just have a, a lot more of a consistent experience. But in this scenario, we're going to have VSync off just so we can see the maximum boost in FPS that we get. Really though, the main thing to focus on is just what the shortcuts are going to be to enable the scaling and the in-game overlay. Now, once you're actually in the game itself, remember you have it windowed, all you have to do is enable the upscaling by hitting the shortcut, in my case being the Windows key, plus Shift, plus a and that now scales up the window and i also use the windows key shift and d to enable the overlay since the msi afterburners overlay through reva tuner doesn't work well with this specific upscaler it actually ends up showing up doubled on the screen and it's practically unreadable but luckily we do have this built-in performance overlay that is showing you what the average fps we're getting right now is and remember before we were struggling to really keep a fps average in the mid 30s with the ultra graphics and here now we're getting a fps average in the mid 50s and visually speaking this looks pretty fantastic we get to keep all of the ultra graphics of killing floor 2 here while also getting a far far better gaming experience than what we were getting before by the end of the test run that i had here the performance difference actually ended up being at least in the fps average a whopping 48 percent fps increase and this was really consistent across all of the different games that i ended up testing so the performance gains are pretty high and a lot of these titles you can actually play on this system natively at 1080p with the lowest in-game graphics settings 
But a lot of the times what's happening with the lowest in-game graphics settings is you're sacrificing a lot of things like shadows and a lot of effects that in modern games actually give a lot of detail to the image that you're looking at. Now, if you play the game at 720p, you can actually enable a lot of these features, but of course you're playing at a much lower resolution. FSR really helps to make that lower resolution look significantly better on a 1080p screen so you're actually able to have these effects enabled while still getting a really great gaming experience and in really limiting situations where you're not able to really play a game consistently being able to use fsr to boost up your performance enough that you might actually be able to get a playable experience is pretty handy now this should work across practically any graphics card out there any kind of integrated graphics whether it's intel or amd because of the fact that fsr is open source this is pretty much agnostic to all systems out there even if you have right now an nvidia graphics card say you're rocking something like a 940m you should be able to use magpie to try to upscale games and hopefully extend the life of your pretty ancient hardware at this point now on this specific mini pc across the different games that i tested as you saw we were getting an average of anywhere between 30 to even as high as 50% increases in FPS that essentially would make night and day differences in terms of the actual overall gaming experience here. For your system, the games might be a significantly lower scenario just because your hardware might be just that limited overall in power. But if in, you're in those scenarios where you're just barely able to play a game or you're struggling to get to that playable FPS, this might just give you the boost that you need. Definitely give it a go. It's free to download and extremely easy to use. So check it out down below.